you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Kind of Corso doing a little update on um, our a little girl here. Um, still no name. Yeah, I still haven't come up with a name yet for her. I have I have narrowed it down to a few, but um, but I haven't um, but I haven't narrowed it down yet. So. As you guys know, sometimes it takes me a while to come up with a name for a dog, and she's just one of them. Um, and so, um, anyway, but I did want to take this time to make a video about this subject um, and help educate people on it. That way everybody can better understand about it, uh, what it is, and um, all that good stuff. Where it comes from, etc. By the way, my chickens are out. Chickens! Um, so, I'm also drying the blankets that I use in the whelping box. I don't put them in the dryer because it ruins them. So you can see her really great structure here. Um, supreme rear angulation. Absolutely. Dude, do you mind not biting me? Rude. No, thank you. No. You're probably why the button was gone off my pant. No. Go away. That's right. Go away. I didn't ask you to bite on me. She's gonna get my butt. Don't let her protect me, Savannah. I can't do nothing. She's aggressive. She's not aggressive. Yes, she is. Look at her looking at me like she's gonna hurt me. Yeah. So, um, anyway. So, what this, what she has. Savannah, pick her up and um, put her on her uh, back so we can see it. The puppy? Yes. Okay. So we can see it. Because it, what, what she still at? has, um, nope. Quit. She still has a slight active infection. Quit. Stupid. Get chicken, not a stupid chicken, but she's annoying me. All right, <clears throat> so I'll show you guys what we're looking at here. Hold on, hold on. Well, not not just that way, so then you got to support the body. She's there you like, go. Ah. Hold on, hold on. So if you can see here, do you see this? Um, um, oh, oh, I know. Burping. So you can see <laughs> it's even on her. Cha -cha 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 -cha. It's even gotten on her leg there. Ah. Hold, just hold her tight. Hold on, hold on. You got to support here, the whole body, though. She's yeah, she's going wild. She's going Archie. wild. Right, okay. So, you can see it on her leg here and down here, okay? She's a bath. I'm going to give her a bath. Yeah. So, that's called vaginitis. You can let her down now. And um, it's actually, in her case, it's called puppy vaginitis, which is actually extremely common. Um, puppies can get it. Uh, it's basically just a bacterial infection. Puppies can get it um, for a variety of reasons. Um, it is contagious, so they can get it from other dogs. Um, so, for example, she was transported in a carrier, uh, and the dog that was in the carrier before she got in the carrier could have had it. Um, or she could have just gotten it on her own. Uh, could have been the stress from travel that caused it. Um, could have been, um, um... Uh, just her licking herself. Sometimes they'll say that whenever they lick themselves a lot, they get it. Um, so, um, so there's just a variety of reasons why dogs get it. Um, sometimes there's no rhyme or reason. They just get it. So it isn't, it, it's not something that is the breeder's fault. Um, I've produced puppies that have had vaginitis before, so it's really not a big deal. But, um, but anyway, but it happens, you know what I mean? And so the problem is because it is a bacterial infection, it's basically an overload of the bad bacteria. Um, be um, because of that, I can't have her around the other dogs because it is contagious and we do have pregnant females. And so, um, and puppies. And so it requires antibiotics to get rid of in a community environment. Otherwise it'll keep getting passed around. And for those of you that have been watching for a long time, I actually had a real big problem with vaginitis in my uh, kennel where I kept having dogs get it and in particular pregnant females. So I kept having to put dogs on prescriptions of cephalexin. My vet has her on something else. What is it called? Yeah, it's not cephalexin. I, I thought for sure he would put her on cephalexin, but he didn't. Um, and sometimes dogs, like, get it chronically. Like, I had a puppy out of Blondie's litter that had it um, chronically. And, the, and the, um, we tried to just kind of, because they only have the one dog, uh, we basically told him, hey, Clavamox. Okay. So, yeah, so she's on Clavamox right now. Um, so, anyway, so... 
Um, so she's been on it for a while. I don't think it's working as well. I think I'm probably going to take her back to my vet and have them prescribe something else. Um, but having said that, some puppies do just get it chronically. The puppy that I had um, from a, a, a blondie puppy that um, I didn't have, that the, the people bought her had her, she had hers chronically. And, um, and, and it's not horrible so long as um, it doesn't kind of... Um, like hers was pretty bad because hers was actually getting to the point of a, of a urinary infection. Um, she was um, uncomfortable. Uh, you could, you know, hear audible discomfort from her whenever she would um, go to the bathroom. She kept um, going to the bathroom frequently. Um, so we needed to treat it. But some vets will tell you not to treat it, just to keep it clean with baby wipes and they'll grow out of it. And, um, but you know, the thing about it is, is that when you see, when you get a puppy and you see that the hairs, um, that are, that are hanging down from that vulva area, when you see them sticking together and having, um, a kind of like a, like a crusty appearance, that's, yeah, that's vaginitis. And so, um, like I said, it, you're, you'll need to talk to your vet. I'm not a vet. I'm not trying to give you medical advice. Um, but you need to go to your vet and your vet may decide to prescribe you antibiotics or they may decide that maybe you just need to, um, let it run its course and see if the, the puppy can find it off naturally. Um, but it is very important for you to understand that this happens. It does not mean that you got your dog from a bad breeder. It doesn't mean that the breeder, um, kept the puppies dirty or anything like that. It just means that, um, that the puppy has a bacterial infection and, um, yes, you sweetie, yes, you are sweetie. And, um, and sometimes, like I said, sometimes dogs, um, I know sugar, yes, I do, I do, I know. Um, I know you're a good sweetie. Yes, you are. You like that Farmina, don't you? You like that Farmina. It's good food. Yeah, it is. It's good food. Um, and so basically, um, so yeah, so, mm-hmm, um, so like I said, so uh, very, very important that you just understand that this happens. The female body, uh, whether it be dog or human, is very complicated. There's a lot of working parts, and there's a lot of stuff that has to remain in balance for everything to be healthy. And so um, this is just one of those situations where things got out of balance, and now we're trying to get her body to, um, to balance out properly. And it's just going to take some time. So because of the fact that we have pregnant females right now, that's why we have to keep her separate. Um, if I didn't have pregnant females, I, I wouldn't be as, you know what I mean, worried about it. Um, cause the other dogs, even if they catch it, they'll kind of even out. But, uh, vaginitis can jeopardize a pregnancy. So that's why, um, she and does have to be. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to be medicating our females right now. So that's why we do have to keep her separate. It sucks, but she's fine. Um, she does get outside time. She gets time with us. So she doesn't get pack time, unfortunately. But she is, like, even in our kennel room, she is around other dogs. So it's not like she's not... Um, you know, getting socialized with other dogs. And to be perfectly honest with you, she's so small that she really couldn't be playing out here safely anyway. So, um, so like I said, she's not really missing out on it, uh, missing out on anything anyway, because, um, yeah, even Zoe, you guys know, I was talking about it. Like, I don't even feel comfortable having Zoe out here because even she keeps getting injured. So you could imagine a dog as big as Zoe, if we're having to be careful with her, you could only imagine, you know, what we're having to do with this girl here. Um, but seeing as how she's been on the antibiotics, how long now? Um, I'd say like a week or so. Yeah, she has a two-week prescription. She's been on it a week. It still looks pretty bad to me. Um, and so I'll probably take her back to my vet on Monday and, um, talk to him about maybe switching up her medication and getting it, um, switched over to something else because I'm not liking how it looks. And, um... And so anyway, but I thought it would be a really great opportunity to just kind of teach you guys about it. You know what I mean? Show you guys um, what it is. And like I said, just to kind of clear up some misconceptions because there's been um, some talk that I've seen, um, not about this dog, but just in general on, um, you know, community groups and forums and things like that where people actually think that that's a sign that the breeder was keeping the puppies dirty and they'll say, oh, there's a dirty whelp, things like that. No. This is just something, it can happen to um, even the best breeders, um, you know, it can happen to a woman, even though she's the cleanest person in the world, you know what I mean? Some some yonis are just more complicated than others, and um, and they, they, you know, they can just be prone to issues like that. 
So what we do is we spend time with her out here together. And um, whenever we bring her back in, we give her a bath. Um, um, and uh, not we give her a bath. We give our hands a bath. Didn't say that right. She needs a bath, which is why, I'm, uh, which is why I said that. Because it is very important to keep that area clean. So as it does its thing... You know, yeah, as it leaks, um, you know, you, you can use baby wipes, you can give her a bath, um, but it's very important that you keep that area clean um, because it is going to do what it's doing. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be discharging stuff. Look at the moon. Um, there's the moon. Are you able to see it on there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so like I said, um, for us, what we do to sanitize... Um, is we just, we get, we keep her clean. We keep, we go inside, we wash our hands before we do any type of, um, handling of the other dogs just to make sure that everybody's safe. And, um, and that's just kind of where we're at. So I had a lot of people asking about her. And like I said, I haven't, I haven't figured out a name for her yet. Um, it's hard because we only spend time with her individually and a lot of times you won't get to see what a dog's going to be like until you have them around the other dogs. And then of course she's still really young. So, um, I want to give her a name that fits her. Um, and I just haven't, I just haven't come up with one yet, but we're working on it. So, huh? Um, oh, uh, I think I've already did a video showing the watermelon. So we have new watermelon. The one that we had, Savannah picked it. It was bad. Like I said, it was rotten. Yeah, the chickens ate it. We fed it to the chickens. There's one right there. Yeah, we have there. we have one right here. There's a couple tiny ones like this one. There's a watermelon. Look, there's a couple tiny ones like a this. A couple tiny ones? Yeah, oh, there's wow. There's a couple of these. Oh, cool. Sporadically around. And then there's another big one like that. Well, so I'm semi big. Yeah, it's growing. Um, over here. A couple little ones. There it is. It's right here. Looks like a pumpkin. Oh, cool. I didn't even see that. Very cool. There's so that's there. awesome. So actually we do have quite a fit, quite a bit more chances. That's so weird how we only had the one for so long and all of a sudden it's like watermelon. Oh, look at my hand Chiquita. An ant just bit me and look, it's already reacted to it. I don't, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Fire ants. Oh, They'll get you. They get you. She's a cutie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had a name picked out that, um, come on. Come on. Chica, 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 chica. Good girl. Good girl. Come. Um, I had a name picked out for her, but I, it rhymed too much with all my other, I keep doing these like Batani and Velocity and, um, uh, all these, yeah, Blondie and all the, you know, and I'm just like, ah, I can't do that again because I get confused and I think the dogs are going to start getting confused. <laughs> yeah, literally. So, yeah, so I have to think of something else. I can't do that. But anyway, it's getting dark out here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you enjoyed your little update of our little Scandafio puppy. Super excited about her. She's looking really good. And um, we're very thankful to Scandafio County Corso for her. Her father is an absolute legend uh, in the making. And he's still just a pup. So um, so anyway, yeah. So we're really looking forward to what we can do with her. Hey! Um, mm -hmm. So anyway, yep. Hope you guys are having a good day, and we'll talk at you later. Bye!